Okay, so now we're looking at the creek, bright orange creek, and the side of Danny Webb's pit. There's a one spot where it looks like something's leaking out of the side. There's there's the top of the bank of the pit up there. So that's one leaking spot. And then if you can see through the trees, there's another spot that seems to be leaking stuff. And back down to this creek, which is just bright orange on down. Okay, we're walking. This is Brad Keenan. We're, we're on his property. We're walking along an access road. And... Here's a picture of the creek coming down from beside the pits. And it goes under the road and out the other side. It's just a tire track. Uh, and it has water standing in it. And if you notice here, if you look down right here, You'll see tap poles. Yeah. See the tap poles going? Right. Okay. I guarantee you won't see one tap pole in the stream. So this is just standing water from ruts. That's just standing water. Okay. That's all that is. And and we're just down stream. Here's the stream coming from the pits which are just right up above us between us and those blue tanks up there. Okay. This is part of the stream that the original stream that comes out from where he put um, I guess his logs or whatever on. First off you can see all this stuff right here. Just a big foam. Okay. Yeah. Now organic film or whatever will break up and wash away oil or anything with petroleum will stay together. And if you do this, it comes right back together. That's telling me that it's nothing but petroleum or petroleum product. If that was organic, it would break up and would not come back together like that. And it would actually start washing down the stream. And this, this is a running creek right here. So this is just stuff that's sitting on top. Um, here's a pretty good little example where it's accepted right there, you can tell. Because um, this is actually pretty clear water, except for, I don't know if I can get that rook up long enough you can get a picture of it. Yeah, but you, can you see that. move that stuff aside, and it's clear, of course, there's the orange well, stuff see, on the look, bottom, you, but... You move it to the side, look at it. It comes right back together. That is petroleum. Uh-huh. Simple as, simple as that. But right here, if you get back and look at that, you can actually see like an oily sheen. I don't know if you can catch that here. Let me get out of the sun. Well, but it's, it's got like an oily sheen. It's pretty visible up there yeah. on the bank above the above the actual creek. It's you can it's really shiny. Yeah. Let's uh let's go up to where this actually starts out up here. Okay, we're going to walk up further up the creek. Look at all this stuff. Mm. Yeah. It just, all this is gathered up, and look how nasty that is right there. Now see how that's not breaking up? Right. This is kind of organic, but you get back in here, and now it's starting to go. See how it comes back together? Mm-hmm. That's more of oil, or petroleum, I should say. Yeah, it's really... Now, I'll show you where they've got the stream now. So let's walk over to uh, our left. So I'm at the, pretty much the property line now. Standing right next to the creek, and there it goes up on coming down from Webb's property and alongside the pits where that I earlier took a picture showing the um, this the seeps coming out of the side of the pit that were orange, and there's the the tanks 
and so forth where on the site where the trucks come in and supposedly unload now, supposedly into the tanks. I will tell you this too, back in 2007, 2008, those pits were not leaking, that was not there. So that has just been from 2008 till now. That uh -huh. Those have start, that, that has started to come out or start to leaking or whatever it may be. And of course it's pretty, pretty damning when you see it right below these pits. Um, you have to you have to figure it comes out of these pits. Right, I may trespass a little bit here. I'm not you, sure I'm going over the property line. I don't line. Like trespass. You have to have uh, signs up to do anything like that. So, so I can see, There's get a actually, better picture. There's the areas where the at below the pit where stuff seems to be leaking out. I mean, there's nothing growing. They're just bare kind of stained areas at the base of the impoundment for these pits and right next to the creek which comes on down here by where we're standing. Let me show you something too. There it to is. Come over here for a second. Take a picture of this right here. See that right there? Now yeah. watch this. All the brand new vegetation is just covered it up. So what's going on. You can tell that, that was even green at one time. So that's just huh. happened recently. And you can see how much, I mean, it just breaks up. So it's actually covered up some vegetation. Yeah. And that's been, like I said, this was not this way two months ago. It was not red like this. So obviously he's dumping something else into this creek versus whatever. He's, he's probably dumping into this creek is what I would think because this creek was absolutely clear and if you ever got down to the bottom of it, I'll scrape it off the bottom here. I'll leave it clear out before it goes away. See how white that is? Yeah. That is clay. And you can uh. see that white clay from right to here all the way up. Even his ditch line was, was that white clay. And nothing sticks to white clay. I mean, yeah. nothing can hardly penetrate it. So this is just laying on top. That's you know, that's where he's dug it out and he's dug clear down the clay. So this is this is the original creek or this is what he rerouted? This is the reroute. Because this the, is the reroute. The original creek, if you look at the nineteen ninety six Google Earth, yeah. The creek actually goes over towards this pond. Uh huh. And then cuts back over and comes out over there. What he's done when he built the ponds, he's dug a, it's straight as an arrow. How many ponds are straight as an arrow? Mm -hmm. How many how many creeks are straight as an arrow? Right. He's dug from there all straight down and then, you know, doing this. And like I said, it's a straight line until it starts to get to our property and then it starts meandering again, like a creek should. 